A lot of people get overwhelmed when they look up Tailwind CSS especially because it makes them think it's a complicated tool to work with. I personally think it's an amazing tool, but that doesn't mean it has no downsides. In this video, I'll summarize all the pros and cons of using Tailwind CSS so you can make an informed decision regarding whether to use Tailwind CSS or not. Let's start with the pros. Well, to start with, there's no doubt that Tailwind CSS makes development more efficient. Tailwind CSS is a utility-first framework, and that's where the magic begins. It provides an extensive set of predefined utility classes. Utility classes are basically small, single-purpose CSS classes that can be directly applied to HTML elements to style them in a specific way. These classes provide a set of predefined styles that you can utilize to quickly and easily create various design components and layouts, which means you can build a visually stunning website in no time and don't have to worry about the hassle of writing custom CSS rules from scratch. Isn't that awesome? In Tailwind CSS, utility classes follow a consistent naming convention that reflects their purpose. For example, classes like Text Center align the text in the center, BG Blue 500 sets the background color to a shade of blue, and P4 adds padding of 4 units from an element. By combining these classes, you can achieve complex designs without writing custom CSS rules. The power of utility classes lies in their ability to be composed and chained together, allowing you to create unique combinations and variations effortlessly. For instance, you can apply classes like Flex, Justify Center, and Item Center to create a centered and flexible container. The flexibility and granularity of these utility classes make Tailwind CSS highly versatile and adaptable to different design needs. One of the advantages of using utility classes is that they promote a more intuitive coding style. You can easily understand and modify the styles applied to an element just by looking at the classes assigned to it. This approach also encourages consistency and maintainability as the same classes can be reused across different components or pages. Tailwind CSS helps significantly in prototyping, meaning you can make quick adjustments and experiment with different layouts and styles, ensuring your creative process flows effortlessly. On top of that, Tailwind provides an exceptional level of customization. You can easily configure colors, typography, spacing and much more, allowing your website to reflect your unique brand identity. Additionally, it's highly scalable, making it a fantastic choice for projects of any size. Tailwind highly promotes consistency in design by enforcing a strict set of rules. This ensures that every team member follows to the same conventions, leading to cleaner code and a unified user experience across your website or application. Now moving on to a few cons of using Tailwind CSS. Well, Tailwind CSS comes with a learning curve, especially for those accustomed to traditional CSS frameworks. Initially, the extensive list of utility classes may seem overwhelming, but I promise that once you grasp the fundamentals, your development speed will absolutely skyrocket. And it doesn't take too much time to grasp the fundamentals, maybe just a few hours at max. Another con could be that since Tailwind CSS relies heavily on utility classes, the HTML markup can become lengthy and cluttered. This might impact the overall readability and maintainability of your code. However, with proper organization and structure, you can easily reduce this downside. File size and performance could also be an issue. Tailwind CSS generates a large CSS file due to its comprehensive utility classes. Although the framework includes optimization techniques like purge CSS to remove unused styles in production, the file size can still be a concern for projects where performance is paramount. However, this can be addressed by utilizing build processes and proper configuration. And lastly, while Tailwind CSS offers a wide range of utility classes, some argue that it limits design flexibility. If you require highly custom and unique visual elements, you may find the predefined classes a bit restrictive. However, with the ability to extend Tailwind CSS with your own utility classes, you can overcome this limitation easily and the possibilities would be endless. So these are all the pros and cons you need to know to help you make a decision about using Tailwind. I personally enjoy using Tailwind, it most certainly speeds up my development process and reduces the process of repetitive coding by a huge factor. It has always almost provided me with everything necessary 99% of the time without having to write my own CSS at all. So that's all for the video, if you found it insightful, drop a like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.